Hi guys, welcome to another short video by Antiques Arena. My name is uh, Walter O'Neill and in this short video today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Paul Pottery. Paul Pottery is um, a company in England that's been producing uh, their wares since the 19th century. Originally uh, known as Carter, Stable and Adams. Um, became Paul Pottery then in the 20th century. They've had some amazing pieces and they are very collectible. You can get pieces of pool pottery for as little as ten pound, going all the way up to a couple of thousand pound. Um, some of the nineteen thirties uh, pieces do demand a nice price, as do the nineteen sixties and seventies. The psychedelic colours with the uh, Delphis pattern. So what I'm going to do, I got a couple of little pieces here to show you, and I've got a pool pottery book here um, that I'd recommend you buy, and I'll give you some close-ups of the book now. So. I'll show you a couple of these uh, examples now and uh, hope you find the, uh, the film interesting. Okay, so the first piece we're going to start on here is known as their traditional range. Um, they've done these types since the 30s all the way up into the 60s. Um, some will have blue dash in around the rim and things. These pieces, they don't pull a fortune, probably about £30, £40. Um, they're all hand painted. I'm going to show you the marks underneath. So, in this particular vase, we have Pool England inscribed. The 84 will be the um, the shape. You have your the artist mark B N over K. And then here we have, I think, again, I think that's another artist mark inscribed so that could be the potter's mark and the artist mark so that's the uh, first example it's it's a fairly common piece you'll find this piece here comes up into the 1970s I can never produce the uh, name of the way it's uh, Agin or I can never pronounce it but I'll show you it now um, this followed on from the Delphis range the big bright psychedelic colors they went into the more neutrals. Still a really nice design bowl. There we go. There's the name of the range. I can never pronounce that correctly. Obviously we have the artist mark here, the double A. 57 is going to be the uh, pattern number of the bowl. And obviously the pool England over the dolphin. So again another piece not the most desirable 30 40 pound item again so I'm gonna come on now and show you um, the book I use um, this is a book purely on pool pottery now the book is really good it covers everything from 1873 right away through the history introduction to them tiles then examples of all their ways, all their patterns and so forth. I'm only going to skim through the book for you just so you can have an idea. So, come down then. There you have the uh, similar piece to the one I've just done, 1950s. Um, in the traditional manner and there's a full range up here again you can see some of the designs here now I bookmarked this page here and the next few pages this is more the psychedelic range from the 60s into 70s this does pull very good money. It's not the dearest pool in the world. Uh, there are dearer pieces, but this does pull some really good money. Some of the rarer patterns that there would be a really good pattern on uh, a charger if you could get it. Anyway, moving on. Um, oh, here we have the range of the... Uh, the bowl I just showed you. That's very similar down there. 
1972 to 77 the bowl would have been. So anyway I'm going to scroll through, skip that now as you can see there's some serious pieces. Now, a friend of mine um, only a couple of weeks ago had a three inch tall elephant um, with a chip on it and sold it for £100 on eBay. Um, so anyway you come down to this page here and obviously shows you all the different marks Paul have made and dates them for you. So where's the one I just heard? The pool over the dolphin there, 1962 to 64, another version of it there, 55 to 59. So, very good for identifying the marks and dating the piece off the mark you have. Um, even here, the uh, Asian, or whatever the name is, 1970 to 1980. So, again, that dates the bowl. But as well as all the marks in this book, what you have are the artist marks. So you know who the painter is. All these are painter's marks and there's pages of them. There may be better books on the market. This is the one I have. I find it very useful. Um, so and I'm going to give you the ISBN number of this book. It's bound to have one. No. Okay, well, here's the uh, book there. Printing date and thing. Any other info I can find on it? ISBN, I got it. There you go. So here's your ISBN. Pool pottery is something you are going to see a lot of. Obviously you need to familiarise yourself with what pulls the money and what just pulls 20 or £30 pound or £40. Pound. Um, but even then, if it's coming in for a couple of pounds in a box of uh, junk on the floor, then it's still worth buying. Obviously I recommend you get yourself the pool pottery book. There may be a newer version or maybe a better version available. But I find this one is very good. It gives you all the patterns, all the shapes, all the designs, all the artists. So you don't really need much more than uh, the book here. And if you're lucky, do a little bit of research on the internet, find out what's selling for the thousand pound plus, and keep your eye open for the rarer pieces. But it's certainly worth knowing pool pottery. Um, certainly something you're gonna buy regular and sell regular. They do. They don't, you don't hold on to the pieces. Um, the Delphus range from the 60s flies out the door. Um, I can list it and it's gone within days. So I hope you've enjoyed this short film. Um, please subscribe. Feel free to visit our website, antiquesarena.co.uk. We're on Facebook, Antiques Arena, a page and a group. And we have an eBay shop, Antiques Arena Clearance. Thanks for watching, guys.